This is our first video example of completing, balancing, and classifying a reaction when we are given only the reactant or reactants. We're asked to complete, balance, and classify a reaction in which liquid phosphorus trichloride, PCL3, is our only reactant. The best way to start this process is to identify the possible type of reaction that can occur for the given reactant or reactants. Because there's only one reactant, the reaction must be a decomposition. That's the only thing that can happen with a single reactant. We'll assume that PCL3 decomposes into its elements, phosphorus and chlorine. We start by writing P for phosphorus as a product. However, you might recall that the most common allotrope or form of phosphorus in elemental form is P4, and phosphorus is a solid at standard conditions. The other element produced will be chlorine, so we write Cl here. But you're required to know that chlorine in elemental form is a diatomic element, so we must write a subscript 2 here. And chlorine is known to be a gas at standard conditions. Our next step is to balance this equation. Notice we have four P atoms on the right side, so we'll write a 4 here in front of the PCl3. Now we have four P atoms on both sides of the equation, so phosphorus is balanced. Now for chlorine, on the left side we have three times four, which is equal to 12 chlorine atoms. To get 12 chlorine atoms on the right side, we write the coefficient six in front of the Cl2. Now the chlorine is balanced. So now we have completed, balanced, and classified this reaction as the decomposition of phosphorus trichloride giving elemental phosphorus and elemental chlorine gas. 